I've never seen a diamond in the flesh I cut my teeth on wedding rings in the movies And I'm not proud of my address In a torn up town, no postcode envy But every song's like gold teeth, grey goose dripping in the bathroom bloodstained OMG there is nothing good on TV, and I am freaking bored. Wait. I got an idea. I will call Kerry and Elle to come at my house to have a sleepover. Sandy and Carly are gone. Kendra is camping and Jenny and Melissa are really sick. So I will call only Elle and Kerry. Hello girls and welcome to my house. We are going to have so much fun. Hi Catherine. Thanks for inviting us. By the way your house looks awesome and cool. Can't wait for us to have fun. Your room looks like mine but a little bit different. Anyway where do we start? How about you set a movie in my computer and I bring snacks. Okay. Let's go. Girls I will go get snacks and you can dress in your pajamas. So what movie we will watch? It's called A House at the End of the Street. My cousin said it's a horror movie. So we will watch it. I'm ready to watch it. And Catherine this is a really big popcorn. I know. Anyway, let's be quiet. The movie is starting. That was horror, but not that much. I know. It wasn't that horror. My cousins were crazy when they said it's a horror movie. Maybe they were. Anyway, now let's talk about boys. Ailey how is your relationship with James? Did you break up? Of course not. We are still a couple. But we can't spend time because he is student council president. How about you and Paul? We are doing fine too. He is so funny. Catherine, you never told us about your crush. Who is it? Well, I have a secret crush with Joe from 8th grade. He doesn't know. I am too scared to tell him about my feelings. Maybe he has another crush. Never be afraid, Catherine. Tell him. Maybe he likes you too. You never know. If he has another crush, leave it. There are more boys around here that you can fall in love with. You are right. This Monday I will L him. I hope he accepts my feelings. Anyway, what will we do now? Um, L, can you please tell me what's the time? It's 11.50 p.m. Why? Have you girls ever heard of Bloody Mary? Pa, huh. I knew she would do that. Say that I'm not clever. Wow. You really know her. Anyway, what's the plan? Okay, Christina. Did you bring the mannequin? Yes. It's right there. This is it, girls. We are doing Bloody Mary. It's my first time doing it, so I am pretty scared. I am pretty scared, too. Don't you think it's a little bit? Dangerous? Really girls? You are scared. Come on I don't believe in myths. Okay okay, I start. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody. I can't do it. I am too scared. Oh for God's sake. Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary, Bloody Mary. See girls I told you there is nothing to be afraid of. Now let's go back to Catherine's room. Um, Gree? Look over there. <coughs> Ha 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 ha. Look at these losers crying. Wait. I recognize this voice. I know. Now what will you do girls? You will go cry to your mama. Ha ha. Nicole. I should have known. Why were you doing this? Come on. Don't you like a bit of fun? Catherine. L. Kiri. Are you there? I heard you screaming. Is everything okay? Yes, Dad. Come in if you want. Okay. I am coming, wait. Oh no. Someone is coming. Christina, help me get this mannequin out of the house. Take your time, Mr. Lifehack. Faster if you can. L. Your father is on the phone. What? Are you joking, Dad? No? Oh my god. That's awesome news. Okay dad. Bye. 
see you tomorrow. So Ailey, what are the news? My mom is pregnant. I will have a new brother or sister soon. Wow. Yeah. That are your some news.